Okay, let's go and make some selections here. Uh, in your uh, toolbar, in the top part of the toolbar, you'll see the selection and movement uh, and manipulation tools we'll be using. Uh, go to the rectangular marquee tool, which is this dotted line rectangle. If you have a dotted line circle here, that's not what you want for this first part. So let's go ahead and if you click and hold down, you can see that you've got a series of flyout options. And so make sure you've got rectangular marquee tool selected. Go out to your canvas, click and drag to select a rectangle, and you'll see the marching ants going around this, this dotted line, and that shows you that you've got an area selected. Well, what does that mean? What does the selection mean? Well, one of the things it means is we can delete whatever is in that area. You do that by simply hitting the delete key on your keyboard. In the lab, you'll notice that there are two delete keys. One of them works, one of them doesn't, so just keep going until you find the one that works. <clears throat> All right, so we've just deleted an area. Well, what else does a selection mean? Let's go back to the brush tool, and you'll notice that with the selection made, I can no longer draw anything out here, nor can I erase anything outside of the selection. So if I go and grab the brush tool again, and I start drawing within the rectangle that I've selected, no problem. But as soon as I go and try to color outside the lines, I'm stopped from doing that. And so you can kind of see how this is going here. And if we kept going, we'd have a perfectly filled in rectangle. So and again, the eraser will work inside, but not outside. So, <clears throat> let me show you a couple of other things that are going to be important for uh, learning how to manipulate selections. First of all, it's hard to see what this is actually going to look like in the uh, canvas because of the marching ants, that those things will drive you crazy after a while. So if I just want to see what this looks like, uh, but I don't want to lose my selection, I go up here to View, Extras and you can see how it's checked right now and you're gonna see over here the, the shortcut is command H well it's this is another one of those shortcuts that I don't think I've ever gone and selected it off of the menu except for when I'm doing a demonstration but I'll go ahead and do it and you can see that the um, selection is now hidden but if I go in here and erase it I can't erase anything outside of the selection so in other words the selection is still in place but we can't see the marching ants. And so I use that all the time. Command H for hide selection. Very important shortcut. And this will also drive you crazy if you're in here at two o'clock in the morning and you're trying to erase something and it's not working. Well, a lot of times it's because you've hidden a selection or you've made a really teeny tiny selection and didn't know you'd made it. So let's move on to the next handy dandy thing to know and that's how to deselect um, a selection and that's command D again that's a shortcut that I use all the time I never select this off the menu but I'll do it right now select deselect and now we're back in business so now I can erase and draw out here as much as I want and let's show you one other selection tool here today this is the uh, freehand lasso tool it's right here it looks like a lasso uh, and again, you might have the polygon lasso or the magnet lasso. Make sure you have just the plain old lasso tool selected. Once you've got that going, I'm just going to go around and I'm going to show you what this can do. This, you just draw a freehand selection to get exactly what you want. It's very handy. So I'm just going to go around and grab all that stuff and hit delete. And I'm going to go around here and get all this stuff and hit delete. So the freehand lasso is a very handy dandy flexible tool to be able to use. One other thing you'll be doing with selections is selecting an area and moving it. So I'm gonna get the brush tool, go out here, draw some more squiggly lines.
And if I want to take this area and move it somewhere, I have to use a selection. So I'll go here and grab the freehand lasso. Oops, missed a spot there. Select an area. Oh, and so we, we told you about deselecting an area by using the command D shortcut. You also can do that just by clicking outside of the area that deselects whatever you've got. Oops, selected. So, but I'm just going to go and select the arm here. And now I'm going to use what's called the move tool, which is up here. If I don't grab the move tool and I go just to move this, it only moves just the selection itself, but without what's inside of the selection. So that can be handy sometimes if you want to do some tricks with that. But generally, you'll want to be able to move it, the actual thing you've got selected. So to do that, you go up here to the move tool, and now that whole area will go and move around. But I'll just go ahead and delete that for right now. So let's see. Just to repeat, we've got uh, some shortcuts here we want you to know. Command plus H, which will hide edges of a selection. Command plus D will deselect. And the shortcuts for um, the marquee, the shortcut for the marquee is M, and the shortcut for the lasso is L. So there you've got a couple of nifty selection shortcuts. Oh yeah, and the shortcut for the move tool is V, V for the move tool.